Hello and welcome to the sixth video in a series on how to make a Space Invaders style game in Scratch 3.0. In this video we will be adding the ability to shoot the aliens with the laser that we've already coded. Um, so uh, the technique for this is actually fairly simple. We're going to adjust our lasers when I start as a clone block so that it tests uh, for whether it's touching an alien sprite and if it is then it's going to broadcast an alien shot message that's going to then get picked up by all of the aliens and each one will then check if it is touching the laser and if it is then it's going to disappear and that will increase the player's score. So to get started we need to select the laser uh, sprite and we need to go to its code editor and we are going to drag an if block inside this repeat until block. Okay, so we're just gonna go uh, control, if, and we're gonna drop that in there. I don't want that change y by 10 to be inside the if, so I just pull that out so it's underneath it. And the thing we're testing is just going to be whether we're touching uh, the alien. So for that, we go to sensing, we grab a touching block from the top, pop that in there, and change from the drop-down menu, choose um, alien. So if touching alien. So if we are touching an alien, what we want to do is broadcast a message uh, to all the aliens saying alien has been shot. So under events, we're going to broadcast and wait. Now that's really crucial because we need the alien, uh, we need the um, laser to hang around long enough for the alien to detect it. So we need to do broadcast and wait, so we're gonna dr drop that in. Let me just make some room here. Um, and we're going to need to create a new message. Okay, and the new message is gonna be alien shot. And press okay. Once uh, that's done, then um, we can just add delete this clone, which is underneath control, because we don't need this um, particular laser bullet anymore because it's done its job so it can disappear. If we didn't include this then um, the laser would continue to go up the screen and it might shoot other aliens on top of the one that's just been shot. So uh, that's literally everything we need to do for the laser sprite. Um, now we need to go over to our alien sprite and let's make some space and we're going to add into this a when I receive block and set that to detect the alien shot message. So that is events and when I receive and if it doesn't already say alien shot then choose it. So when this message is uh, broadcast and received we want every alien to check if it's touching the laser sprite or not so we're going to need another if and touching so control if um, sensing, let's do touching. So the alien's going to be saying, hey, am I touching the laser? Are you touching the, alien, the laser? Who's touching the laser? So if I'm touching the laser, then we need to, um, what do we do when an alien's shot? Well, two main things. One, we're going to want to change the count of aliens because that's going to reduce. Um, and then the other thing we're going to want to do is um, hide and delete that particular alien. So to change the aliens count, it's pretty easy. We just go to variables and grab a change block, drop that in there, and the, the variable that we're changing is the aliens count, and we are going to reduce it by one. So we just need to change it by negative one. And then we're going to hide the aliens, so looks and hide, and then control, and delete this clone. Okay, so when the alien is shot, it's gonna reduce the alien's count, it's gonna hide and delete. So um, let's just press the green flag and test to see if this works. So here's my aliens and I'm gonna shoot them. And there we go, whichever one gets hit is the one that disappears. So that seems to be working pretty well. Now, to make our game a little bit more uh, immersive, we could add some sound, uh, a nice sound effect when the aliens are shot. So, still on my aliens tab, I'm going to go to sounds, get rid of pop, and we're going to add a new sound. Uh, now, you can choose whatever you like, um, but I 
put into my game one called Crunch, which has a nice kind of um, 8 bit retro feel. So I'm going to use Crunch, and now I go back to my code editor, and I just need to go to Sound and Start Sound Crunch, and I just put that in above the hide. So now when I shoot an alien, there you go, it's a bit more immersive and a bit more fun. So the final thing that we want to do now um, when we've shot our alien is to improve or increase the player's score. So currently we've got a placeholder here for score but we've not actually created a score variable. Um, now a score is a kind of game-wide thing, it's something that might be affected by different power-ups or things you put into the game. So rather than making it belong to any particular sprite, we're going to go to the stage and we're going to create a variable which is going to apply to the whole game. So make a variable and we're going to call it score. Press OK and we're going to set its initial value when we start a level. We're going to make its initial value just zero. So if I grab a set, drop it in here and set score to zero. Now currently it's giving us the sort of standard default readout. If we right click on that, make it a large readout and we can add it to our uh, info bar along with the other variables. So to actually change the score now for um, when we shoot an alien, we need to go back to our alien sprite. And all we need to do is add another change uh, variable. So we're going to grab that from variables, change. And the variable that we're changing is the score. And we could leave it as one. It wouldn't be very exciting. So let's make players feel like they're doing really well and give them like 500 points every time they shoot an alien. Um, so let's press the green flag and see if this works. So notice I've got my score as zero, and every time I shoot an alien, it's going up by 500 points. Okay, so our game's nearly there. Now we can shoot our aliens. Um, the only thing that's missing is some kind of level complete when we've shot all of them or maybe a game over message if the aliens get all the way to the bottom of the screen or if one of them touches the spaceship. Um, and that is what we're going to do in the next video.